Hey guys, it's George from Diamond Yard Sports Cards coming at you here with another video. I hope everybody is having an awesome Sunday morning, had a good weekend, uh, getting ready for some football today. Going to watch the Arizona Cardinals. Hopefully they can pull out another victory. Been pretty hot lately. Um, so I wanted to go over some cards that I've been picking up lately. Uh, this video is going to be about the greatest left-handed pitchers of a live ball era. I'm going to show some cards off of those guys. Uh, and then go over two pickups. One's a really pretty big pickup for me, a vintage card um, from the 40s. Anyway, guys, uh, so here we go. Okay, so guys, I received a care package, uh, which you can see here, um, insured. And it was from none other than G's Mikey. Shout out to Mikey. Uh, what a great channel he has. Uh, the Dodgers won the World Series. So obviously, congratulations to all the Dodger fans out there. Pepino Man, uh, G's Mikey. So Mikey had a video where he was talking about um, selling his Mickey Mantle rookie card. And I, so I called him on the phone. And I said, don't you dare do that. Don't you dare do that. And if you do do that, sell it to me. Right. So anyway, I think he made the right decision. I don't think he's selling it. But we started talking and he said he had a bunch of card savers and he doesn't do great at cards. So he said he would send them to me. And with the shortage of card savers, I mean, it's hard to find them. So Mikey, thank you so much. Just stack after stack of card savers here, which was awesome. Um, again, wow, just an amazing, amazing haul of card savers here. And then he also gave me one of these beauties, Project 2020, and I uh, was happy to get this. I have got a few of these cards, but I didn't have this one. And the important thing here is Mikey was looking out for me. Um, so here is the Project 2020 card. A little note. What's up, Big Money George? I just made you a very wealthy man. Mikey's watching out for my financial future with this sweet Mike Trout card. Um, I know these were going for, the Trout stuff was going for a lot of money when everybody was on the Project 2020 bandwagon, and now maybe not so much. But I know that, man, Mikey, you're keeping my financial future uh, squared away, so I appreciate it. Thank you so much, Mikey. Really appreciate this stuff. I'm gonna definitely use these to do a so their submission to PSA. Right now I have four submissions out, so we'll see if we get them back anytime soon. Um, so, I uh, wanted to also give a shout out to a channel who won my 500 subscriber contest, and that was All Day Cards. All Day Cards, Alex has 14 subs. What? This guy has done uh, showcases of Bob Feller, Warren Spahn, Jimmy Fox. I mean, if you get a Jimmy Fox show, it would do a Jimmy Fox showcase. I mean, you should get 150, 200 subscribers right there. Anyway, I can't believe that he only has 14 uh, subs. So please check out Alex uh, of All Day Cards. Give him a sub. And so here we go with the cards we're going to talk about today. Greatest left-handed pitchers of the live ball era. Um, I was thinking about this with the Dodgers winning and the place of some of these guys. And so this is related to some pickups I've had. Here is one of the pitchers I consider to be one of the greatest pitchers of the live ball era, era Clayton Kershaw. Uh, greatest left-handed pitchers. Um, certainly, there's a lot. There are a lot of, of great lefties in the modern game, but I don't know if there's anybody uh, like Kershaw. He has won an MVP. I mean, when you're a, when you're a pitcher and you win an MVP, uh, that says a lot. Uh, not to mention the numerous Cy Young awards. The next left-hander I would put as one of the greatest pitchers of the live ball era, he may be the greatest pitcher, Randy Johnson. Randy Johnson, I believe, he won the Cy Young in both leagues. I think he won five Cy Youngs. Um, was a Diamondback, of course. Came in and saved a game um, that Schilling had started, I believe, uh, the final game. Um, Randy Johnson is just an amazing pitcher. Uh, I don't believe he gets his due in the hobby. Um, this card's gone up a little bit. I mean, I probably bought this card for 15 bucks or 10 bucks back in the day. Um, but it seems like if there's a pitcher who really is undervalued, um, Randy Johnson is up there. Uh, and this, this is a list of pitchers that really uh, many of them are undervalued, including this man, Steve Carlton. This is a recent pickup, 77 Carlton. Steve Carlton won three Cy Youngs as well. Was nicknamed Lefty, won a World Series. Um, I don't know the specifics, but I know that he had an amazing year uh, in 1970, I believe it was 72, where he won something like 48% of his team's games. 
Um, just an amazing pitcher. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, these guys are getting older. And, and Steve Carlton had a kind of tenuous relationship with the media. Uh, he was kind of uh, an odd, at least at the time, was perceived to be kind of an odd guy. Uh, didn't talk to the media for many years. Um, but if you watch any of his interviews, he's an extremely thoughtful man. Uh, I saw him and Tom Seaver walking together at the Hall of Fame induction in the Albany Airport. I think I told that story back in 2009. Um, didn't get autographs, probably should have. Didn't want to bother the gentleman. So, obviously, the left, hand, the left arm of God is part of this as well. Uh, another Dodger, great, Clay, uh, Sandy Koufax. Um, you know, Koufax won the Cy Young Award back when there was only one Cy Young Award. There was no National League. There was no American League Cy Young. It was just the best pitcher in the league. Uh, and Koufax won that award. Um, looking, this up, looking this up right now, but... He won the award. The award was from 56. The Cy Young Award came in until 1966. Koufax won it three times as the best pitcher in the league. Dean Chance won it in 64, but Koufax won it from 63 to 66, which is a great run, obviously one of the greatest runs, if not the greatest run in baseball history. Um, anyway, you know, arguably the greatest left-handed pitcher of all time. Certainly had one of the greatest peaks ever. Um, and just, you know, fantastic 1960. Love that card. Uh, probably... The man who was known as the most prolific left-handed playoff pitcher of all time, Whitey Ford. I don't have many graded or any graded Fords, but I have this one. I picked up a collection and happened to have this beat-up one, but I just thought it was super cool. Um, you know, Whitey recently passed, obviously, and uh, he was just one of the outstanding postseason performers. Um, 120 games so many times. Um, he won the Cy Young in 1961, again, when it was just one award uh, for American and National League. So Whitey Ford, truly a great one. We're going to continue to go back in time here. I don't want to really cover Randy up, but with the meal ticket, Carl Hubble. Um, Carl Hubble, I believe, won multiple MVPs as a, as a pitcher. Um, he was just a fantastic pitcher for the, the New York Giants. Uh, they had won a series of, I believe they won a couple World Series. Had a great team. Um, Mel Ott, I believe Bill Terry. But Carl Hubble was the meal ticket, the screwball. As a matter of fact, George Plimpton tells a story about how when he was a boy, he watched Carl Hubble so much and loved him so much, he would walk with his arm, like Hubble's arm was turned in from throwing the screwball. And Plimpton, as a kid, would walk around with his arm turned in like Carl Hubble because he really admired him. And so Carl Hubble here, here's an autographed 61 Fleer Hubble. I love the 61 Fleer set. It's just kind of a cool uh, of all-time greats. And then the original lefty. Lefty Grove. Lefty Grove, uh, many people, Brian Kenny, actually, of his statistical analysis of the greatest pitchers of the modern era, has Lefty Grove number one over everybody, right or left-handed. Um, here, I believe, he was on the Red Sox, uh, but he was an outstanding pitcher for the dynasty of the uh, Philadelphia Athletics, which also had Jimmy Fox, Al Simmons, um, Mickey Cochran, and some of the greatest players of all time. So this is a 34 Lefty Grove. So uh, if you are watching and you know about baseball, I'm missing somebody, and that leads to the pickup. The winningest left-handed pitcher of all time, Warren Spahn. Um, this is not the pickup. The pickup is coming. It's a rookie Warren Spahn, but I just want to show off a few Spahn cards. Um, you know, Warren Spahn is so underrated in the hobby and really should get more hobby love. Uh, he was a winner of the Cy Young when it was just in one league, and he was the runner-up three times, I think. He won 363 games, more than anybody in the modern era, right-handed or left-handed. I believe he has the most innings. I believe, I, mean, he has, I don't know if he has the most innings, but he had some great quotes uh, from, from him. But I think what's really impressive here is Spahn missed three years because he was in World War II. So he missed those three years. He was in the Battle of the Bulge. He ended up getting a Purple Heart, and he missed his age, I believe, 20. He returned to the Major Leagues at 25. Uh, so he missed his age 24, season 23 and 22, uh, serving uh, our country. Um, and that is amazing to me. Um, with all of that, he still had 363 wins. This is the card I picked up recently. For me, it's a huge pickup. I've been trying to get this card for a long time, and I wanted to find the right one. And it is a 1948 Leaf Warren Spahn. Um, I couldn't get over the centering on this card. 
And I just, the 48 Leafs are such a great, I know that the thought is, and I believe it's true, it's the 49 season that they came out, or at least early 49. But the centering on this thing was fantastic. The color was fantastic. Um, I really couldn't have asked for a better spawn card. I just came across it. And, um, you know, it was just so orange. I was going to do a video on Halloween because it was orange spawn. And this is, you know, his, he was pitching for the Boston Braves. What was really cool, as you may, many of you may know, one half of the Braves famous Sane and Spawn pitching combination that paced the team to the 48 NL pennant. The Boston Braves would go to the World Series and lose to the Cleveland Indians, who haven't won a World Series since 48. In that World Series in 48, not only did you have Spawn and Sane on one side, but you had I believe Bob Lemon, Bob Feller, and the great Satchel Page for the Cleveland Indians on the other side, along with Larry Doby and a bunch of other fantastic players. So Spawn, this was kind of the beginning of Spawn really turning things on. He won 21 games in 1948. The back of this card talks about the 48 season. Um, so, you know, the season had been completed, and then they came out with these cards and called them 1948 cards. But anyway, I just wanted to do this video, show off some of the, if I forgot a left-handed pitcher here or there, I'm sure I did, but I just wanted to pick the top guys. Um, thanks, you guys, for watching. Again, hit Alex with all-day cards with a sub. Thank you, Jeez Mikey, for the care package, and keep collecting.